I knew that I wanted to feel better, I just didn't have it in me to feel better. You need to be present in your own life. One task a day. Shocker, you actually have to feel your feelings. Hi, my name is Samicia and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we talk about self-development, fashion, and lifestyle. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. You clicked on this video because you're trying to get out of a funk. Now, there could be a ton of reasons you're going through a funk. Maybe it's something personal. I don't know if Mercury's in retrograde or I'm the only one feeling this. I have five tips that's gonna put you on the path to getting out of a funk and start being the person that you wanna be and doing the things that you wanna do but maybe you just don't have the energy to do right now. And I have my notes right here so I don't forget anything. So tip number one is to decide if you're ready to get out of a funk and it's okay if you aren't. If you're someone like me, you wanna fast forward through all the negative feelings and just get to the other side of it using logic, productivity, but that's actually not the best way to get out of a funk. Or shocker, you actually have to feel your feelings <laughs> to get through it. The only way out is through. You also can't say you wanna get out of a funk and then do things that make your funk even worse. Like you can't say you wanna feel better and then start listening to sad music and watching depressing movies and only eating junk food because all those things don't actually help you feel better. Once you decide you wanna feel better, you have to stop being complacent in your life. You actually have to try to do the things that you know will make you feel better even though you still feel like trash in the current moment. And I know this because literally for like the last month I've been in a funk and I knew that I wanted to feel better but I just didn't have it in me to start doing the things that would make me stop being complacent in my life. So when you decide you're ready, you need to start getting out of bed every single day just to do a couple tasks. You need to open the curtains, open the blinds, let the sun come in, and sitting in a dark room will make you wanna sit in your bed even longer and not do anything. You need to put down Instagram and put down TikTok. Those things are only sucking your time away. Stop binging TV. There are so many things that make us feel good and feel comfortable but are actually making us complacent. Now again, I'm not saying that these things are bad in any way, shape, or form. This video is for when you're ready to get out of the funk. So at some point, you will have to put down all the things that are keeping you in your comfort zone. And then the last step of actually deciding that you're ready to feel better is accepting that you're in a funk in the first place. It's not gonna help you if you keep trying to fight against something that you haven't accepted. You have to accept that you're feeling low, that you're feeling down, and just let that be instead of trying to sugarcoat it and say like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, when you actually aren't fine. It's okay to not be okay. The second tip is ask for help if you need it. I was dealing with really overwhelming, anxious thoughts, having a ton of like doom spirals where I just start thinking about, all the what ifs and like worst case scenarios and was feeling super depressed. I had little to no energy to do anything or talk to anyone. And so I knew that I needed to actually get help. It wasn't just a small funk that was brought on by weather, being fatigued that week. It was actually something greater that I was going through. So I knew to get out of it, I was going to need extra support. So I started going to therapy. You don't have to go through this uphill battle of getting out of a funk on your own. Although you may have friends and family who wanna be there and support you, it's okay if you wanna seek professional help, especially if you think that it's more than just feeling low or feeling down. When I started therapy, I had to do some initial tests just to gauge where I was at. And I had the test confirm that I was actually leaning towards clinical depression and was super anxious. And that kind of scared me. <laughs> like if you've seen the TV show, like scared straight. They want you. They're all fighting over you. was me and I knew that I wanted to feel better I just didn't have it in me to feel better at the time but I also knew that I didn't want to sink further into my depression or further into my anxiety and really be in a bad place so after I saw those tests and like knew that I had to start going to therapy like more consistently I was definitely dedicated to my journey of getting out of the funk and I didn't know how long it would take me to get out of the funk but I knew that I had to start being dedicated to the journey of just doing so, of doing one small step a day. The third tip is to stay moving even if it's at a slow pace. I started to get out of my funk by doing one small thing a day, one task a day. If it was getting out of my bed and just showering that day, if it was getting out of my bed and like washing the dishes, or even just moving from my bed to the couch to watch TV, it was something that I was doing to like stay moving. And that definitely started helping me get into the practice 
of just getting out of the bed, which is something that I could not do. One of the best ways that I kept moving was by listening to a podcast or listening to music while I was cleaning my house. So just going through the chores of tidying up my space, I would turn on Emma Chamberlain's podcast or I would listen to playlists that were pretty soothing and it would just help me stay moving and like doing a task that I know would help my future self. And definitely in between tasks, like if I started feeling tired, I was just like, okay, I washed the dishes, I can't anymore. I sat down on my bed, I doom scrolled on TikTok or Instagram for a little bit and then I got back up again. It might have taken me an hour or two, but I got back up again and I started doing another task. So move at your own pace, but keep moving. So tip number four is to do something that you enjoy that helps your future self. For example, if you've been ordering in a ton just because you don't have the energy to cook, but you love cooking or you love baking, reserve your energy for one day or a couple days out of the week just to start cooking again. Maybe it's just lunch, maybe it's just dinner, but start cooking again and get into the activity of doing things that you love. If you wanna start going to the gym because you have summer body goals that you're trying to reach, take that small effort just to join a gym. And then maybe the next day you actually go to the gym and you work out for 30 minutes. Just start small and do things that help your future self. And tip five is to do it again. You are not going to fix your life in one day. It takes repetition of the same behavior to actually get into a pattern, to get into a routine that will help you get out of your funk. Every day you have to wake up and commit to wanting to be your better self. That means you have to commit to getting up out of bed every single day and choosing to be present in your own life and let it pass you by. You have to continue to choose yourself and the person that you want to be every day until it becomes second nature, until you're literally on autopilot, you're cooking dinner, you're meal prepping, you're going to the gym. It's just become second nature and it's a routine that you can stick to. And there are definitely gonna be days when you don't feel like it. And on those days, I would say, think about the person you wanna be. Is the person that you wanna be choosing not to do this or is the person that you were choosing not to do? Because every day we're trying to bridge the gap between who we are and who we wanna be. So you have to start thinking like the person that you wanna be embodying the choices that they want to be and hopefully that helps start changing your mindset into not thinking that you have to do these tasks but being actually excited to do these tasks being grateful that you get to do these tasks ultimately bridging the gap between the person that you are and the person that you want to be and this is my last little ps if there's a day that you just really cannot you just cannot get out of bed you can't go to the gym you can't do the tasks on your to-do list i would say productively procrastinate don't procrastinate by like watching love island for a million hours a day if you're trying to be a content creator write down ideas that you can use for youtube videos write down ideas that you can use for reels and start scripting them out if you're in the middle of a job hunt right now and it's got you super down and you're like i literally cannot even apply to another job, that's fine. Go on YouTube and start watching day in the life videos of the job that you want so you can start getting into the mindset of what it would actually be like to have that job and to be the person that's working that job. So find ways to productively procrastinate and still do something that reaches the goals for your future self. And I'll be the first one to tell you, I do that all the time. I feel like it helps me stumble forward into my goals instead of just full stop, put them down. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some great tips to help you get out of your funk. So please drop a comment below if you're going through a funk and you just need some words of encouragement. I would love to support you guys as we're all going on this journey together. Make sure to subscribe because I'll be coming out with more videos that will help us be the person that we want to be and navigate our 20s together. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.